hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding browse or a method in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorial and this method can be used across all the odoo versions so in odoo development life there will be some case where we have to fetch or where we have to browse the record set by id so in some case we will have only the id of the record where we have to browse and get the record set so let's assume if i go to the patients table we have around 16 patients in our database and if i open a random record here you can see its id is 51 so if someone give you or if the code gives you the id as 51 you have to get the record set so in that case you can use the browse method in odoo so if i go to the technical and then to the playground here we can write the code and execute so if i write a code here self.env i will initialize the environment of this model that is hospital dot patient self.env hospital dot patient let me type the model name hospital dot patient then so we have initialized that environment of that model then we have to use the browse method so to the browse method we have to pass either id as directly you can pass id or list of ids to get multiple records so currently i need to get only this record so to this method i will pass 51 browse of 51 which is this id and if i execute you can see the result is coming as hospital dot patient of 51 which is a record set so if i need to get so we have a record set so if i need to get its name i can simply add dot name then if i execute you can see the result is coming as papaya which is this name similarly if i need to get the phone number so currently this record doesn't have phone number so let me take a record odoo meets dust here we have phone number as well as email so its id is 72 so here i'll change browse 51 to 72 execute odoo meets test and if i need to get email dot email record set dot email will give us the email that is urumates at gmail.com which is coming from here and suppose if i need to get phone i can do as follows dot field name will give us the value so to the browse to browse a record simply self dot model name dot browse of id or list of id so we have currently checked with id now let's pass list of ids so in here instead of directly giving the id i will add a list and i'll give 51 comma 72 and if i execute you can see the result is coming as hospital dot patient of 51 comma 72 so we can just browse a particular id or list of ids so in this case if you put dot name you will be receiving singleton error as you have multiple records so if you put dot name execute singleton error so in such cases what you have to do is that we have a limitation from here we cannot execute that code assign this to a variable like patients patients you can patients then you can for loop i trade it over a for loop for patient patients and you can print like this print or process the variable each one so currently when we try to access dot name we have two records and we will receive singleton error so in order to avoid that you can iterate this variable so result of this is assigned to a variable let me zoom in control plus which will be helpful for you to understand so i think the screen size is fine so patients equal to self dot env hospital dot patient browse of 51 comma 72 for patients so i trade we are setting this result to a variable then for result in this print patient so we have to 
process so this is one method so currently we have a limitation to execute this code from the screen so let me bring back to the original case so here we were receiving this as a result so if i directly put dot name we receive the error so we have an another method so if you put mapped so in another video i'll explain this regarding the mapped dot mapped of name execute you can see the result is coming as papaya and urumates test so urumates test is 72 which we have given and if you check 51 if i open papaya you can see its id is 51 so to the browse method we can pass the value also if i put a random value like if i enter 200 execute this will return the result like this so simply i'm searching 200 it returns hospital.patient of 200 but if you check our database we will not have such a record so if i check here its id is 2 3 just concentrate on id 16 17 32 50 51 52 you will not have an id so the browse method will return a record set of given this given id but if you call dot name execute record does not exist you can see as i am calling dot name it's showing record is not existing so the, this is the working of browse method just you can give an id it will return a record set with the id and if you are trying to get a value then only you can understand whether the record is existing or not so to verify it is, is it existing or not you can use dot exist so we have such a functionality execute you can see it return empty now but if i give 50 72 here execute it return correct 72 is existing in the database if i move to next 72 is existing so along with browse you can use exist then it will check whether it is really existing or not so i hope you understood the working of exist so if you give a non-existing id if you have exist along with browse it will return the correct value so i hope you understood the working of browse and exist in odoo so if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by having a subscribe so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you